What is irony? What is irony? Historically, irony gets its name from an ancient Greek comedy which involved three characters. Alizon, some dude who thought he was better than everyone else, but Mulculus, some dude who was dumber than everyone else, and Iron, some sarcastic dude who would put the other two characters in their place. Ironically enough, these three character tropes were the beginning of Western comedy. Iron's character would later create the term ironia, which in ancient Greek meant the concealment of one's true thoughts and intentions, or pretending to be dumb on purpose. During the Roman Empire, ironia turned into ironia because of that fancy new Latin language. From there, ironia turned into irony when English people started saying it. Irony can be split into three different categories, verbal, dramatic, and situational irony. But fuck that, this is my video and I can make up as many ironies as I want. So I'm splitting those three categories into seven different ironies. And I'm gonna call this the Frank Jab C Seven Different Ironies Theory uh, Explained. Verbal irony. Say one thing and mean another. Dramatic irony. Audience is in on a secret. Situational irony. Opposite of what is expected to happen. Romantic irony. Metafiction. Things about things about things about things. Socratic irony Playing dumb on purpose to taunt another person Cosmic irony The universe is out to get you So ironic, you're being genuine Verbal irony is the most basic form of irony Verbal irony is when someone says something and means the exact opposite of what they're saying Irony is all about intentions of words and how they are used Verbal irony can be used metaphorically when describing something in a paradoxical way. With verbal irony, you have to read between the lines. Is the person being genuine, or do they mean the exact opposite of what they are saying? Sarcasm is much different than verbal irony, as sarcasm is a form of intentional ridicule, where verbal irony just means the exact opposite of what is being said. Dramatic irony is sometimes known as tragic irony. I like to call it the I have a secret irony. This irony is mostly seen in movies, plays, video games, basically anything with a story, or narrative if you're fancy. This irony occurs when the omnipresent godlike consciousness that is the audience knows something that the simple-minded, dim-witted characters in the story don't know. This can also be seen in real life, when your friend tells you a secret, and it makes the entire play of life really complex but also beautiful, sometimes hilarious, but also sometimes tragic depending on the circumstances. This form of irony is usually the plot device to many stories, so pay attention how miscommunication can either save or ruin lives. Situational irony is literally where a situation or circumstances outcome is directly opposite of what was intended. It is the same thing as verbal irony, only situations instead of words. In fancy terms, it's the incongruity between expectations and reality. These are the three main forms of irony. But in this video, I'm going to list four more forms of irony I think should be categorized in this irony uh, triforce. Romantic irony is a form of metafiction, named after the Romantic era of the 1800s. Romantic irony usually involves self-aware reflection as the main theme of artistic works. This can be seen in movies about movies, books about books, songs about music, and paintings about painting. Socratic irony is named after the Greek philosopher and is when a person who knows a lot about a certain subject plays ignorant when questioned about that subject. This form of irony was deemed absolute infinite negativity by Danish philosopher Kierkegaard as purposefully acting ignorant was metaphorically described as a never-ending cycle of negativity or like a snake eating its tail or something that just goes on forever, but only bad. Cosmic irony is the belief that reality has some sort of weird bias towards making life extremely ironic. This is sometimes known as the irony of the fates, or sometimes synchronicity. Historical irony is a form of cosmic irony, as living in the future and looking into the past, we have the foresight to see historical events as ironic, as we know the outcome. The final form of irony is known as post-irony. This is where irony comes full circle and becomes genuine and sincere. Post-irony is mostly seen on the internet, which is comprised of creating ambivalency towards whether something is ironic or intentional, and taking the absurd seriously. Post-irony is a great way to say how you really feel about something while masking your opinion with ironic undertones as to not be taken seriously. So basically my, my entire career so far. Irony is often misused on the internet, so here is a simple test to see whether or not whatever you're doing is ironic or not. If you can replace the word ironic with coincidental, then you have an ironic event, as irony and coincidences are similar in some ways. 
If you intend the exact opposite of what you said, then you are saying something ironically. If you are being sincere but hiding behind a layer of irony, you are being post-ironic. In Andrew Kotzko's essay, Awkwardness, the author states the 90s changed the word ironic from meaning the opposite of what it was intended to a general stance of detachment from life in general. The 90s variation of irony was a reaction to the awkwardness that is human experience. Then, the generation raised on 90s detachment grew up to create a nostalgic homage to awkward situations via their ironic appreciation of culture used as a shield from the genuine. In layman's terms, it's basically like someone who's never seen Seinfeld photoshopping a picture of George Costanza's head on a Windows 95 computer screen because they don't really understand how to express their feelings or who they really are from being too detached from reality at all times. Basically, irony is a paradoxical black hole of being in which the human experience is mocked by reality. So I hope you enjoyed this video on what irony is. If you want to see me do more educational videos in this styles, please uh, hit that like button and comment and tell me what you want me to explain next. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, keep uh, creating uh, forever. Uh, I love you guys. I said unironically because what I do requires passion and I I'm, I'm just happy you guys can see what I'm passionate about. And you know what I'm passionate about? Memes, memes, memes.